Throughout the past decade, Kansas State has staked its claim as one of the top college football programs in the nation. During that time, Kansas State is one of only four programs in the nation to have a run of eight consecutive nine-win seasons and eight straight bowl trips. During the past six seasons, Wildcats have consistently been ranked among the top ten teams in the country. And since 1996, only Bobby Bowden of Florida State has won more games than Kansas State's Bill Snyder. With their reputation as one of the elite programs in the country intact, new evidence surfaced during the 2000 season to prove that Kansas State is not only one of the best during the current era, but in fact, the Wildcats have established one of the greatest programs in the history, the history of college football. Kansas State capped off its 2000 season with an impressive 35-21 victory over Tennessee in the New Year's Day Cotton Bowl. In doing so, Wildcats completed a remarkable run of four consecutive 11-win seasons that has only been matched by two other programs in the history of college football, by Nebraska in the mid-90s and currently by Florida State. What made Kansas State's 11-3 record in 2000 even more impressive was the strength of the opposition. For the third consecutive season, Kansas State captured a share of the Big 12 North Division crown with a 29-28 win over preseason number one, Nebraska. The Wildcats' dominating win in the Cotton Bowl came against a Tennessee program that won the national championship in 1998. In the final four games of the season, the Wildcats defeated two of the last three national champions, Nebraska and Tennessee. Kansas State's run to its fourth consecutive 11-win season began in front of 77,000 fans at Kansas City's Arrowhead Stadium. Wildcats rolled over the Big Ten's Iowa Hawkeyes in the Eddie Robinson Classic with a 27-7 victory that showcased what would be another strong Kansas State defense. And move Casper in motion to the near side. Eye formation behind Mullen. They turn, play action fake, looking downfield. Now looking over the middle field, gets hit and dropped. Chris Johnson brings him down. Johnson with the first sack of the game for Kansas State. Back to throw is Mullen. Now being rushed, trying to step up to elude the rush, gets hit, goes down. Chris Johnson jumps on his back along with Monty Beisel. Back to throw is Scott. Looks, gets hit, drilled by Monty Beisel, brings him down. A sack for Beisel at the 15-yard line. It was, it was fun, you know, we got to play in the NFL Stadium and experience that whole atmosphere. And it was a hot, you know, Saturday afternoon. And uh, we went out there and played well. You know, we went out there and opened up the season with the kind of game we wanted to play. And, you know, we went out there and, and proved that, you know, we're ready for the season. The Wildcats sacked Iowa quarterback Scott Mullen seven times on the afternoon and limited the Hawkeyes to 156 total yards. In fact, the Cats didn't allow Iowa into K-State territory until late in the second quarter. The offense scored on its first possession of the season as Jonathan Beasley and Martez Wesley set up the first score with this 60-yard pass on the third play from scrimmage. Back to throw is Beasley, sets, looks, guns a pass, looking for Wesley, makes a catch, 30-yard line, Wesley, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, Martez tripped up at the three-yard line. Martez Wesley with the first big play of the year for Kansas State. David Allen scored two plays later to give K-State a 7-0 lead, setting the stage for what appeared to be Allen's NCAA record-breaking eighth punt return for a touchdown in his career. Baker hangs up on another one. This was more in the center of the field, though. Allen drifting back to his own 15 to make the catch. Right up the middle. Allen to the 20, to the 25. Allen to the 30, 35. Cuts outside. David Allen's off and running to the 50, 40, 30, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, and the record is his. The record is his for David Allen. But hold on. There's a flag on the play. Back at the 15-yard line. It'll be coming back for Kansas State. Oh, I mean, I was happy. I mean, for one, it was out of the way. You know, the rest of the season would go on smooth without people asking, you know, when are you going to break your record? You know, especially for a, a return man, one of the worst throwers in the world, or anybody who scored a touchdown for that fact. You know, when you turn around and see that flag on the ground, you're like, man, I just did all this for nothing. You know, I mean, it might have been great at the time, but then you turn around and you see that flag, you're like, you know, it couldn't have been a flag. You know, the rest are wrong. You know, you, all kinds of things are going through your mind. You're mad, this and that. You know, I mean, it's just, that takes that, you know, that great feeling all away from you. 
Wildcats still got a field goal on the possession as they opened up a 17 to nothing halftime lead and cruised to a 27-7 victory to claim the Eddie Robinson Classic. Kansas State entertained a dangerous Louisiana Tech team in its home opener on September the 2nd. The Bulldogs returned 50 lettermen from an 8-3 team that won at Alabama in 1999. But any thoughts of another upset were quickly laid to rest as the Wildcats jumped out to a 31-10 halftime lead. Jonathan Beasley completed 13 of 22 passes for 233 yards, including this long touchdown pass to Quincy Morgan in the final minutes of the first half. Pocket and Morgan to the near side. Play action fake. Beasley back in the pocket. Steps up, eludes the rush. Looks deep downfield. Throws for Morgan. Makes a catch at the 15. Morgan 10, 5. Gets caught from behind. Dives. Touchdown. Kansas State as they pop Morgan down the middle of the field. He reaches out, gets over the goal line, and adds six more to the board for the Wildcats. Louisiana Tech's high-powered passing attack managed 319 yards, but not without consequence. The Wildcats picked off four passes including two by Jeremy Prius Butler. The game also unveiled K-State's new special teams weapon. With David Allen sidelined with an ankle injury, Phil Snyder turned to Aaron Lockett, and a new punt return star was born. Lockett coming up, makes a catch to the 31. Gets a couple of blocks, Lockett 35-40. Gets to the 45 to midfield, to the 40. Lockett off to the races, to the 30, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Kansas State, Aaron Lockett. His first career touchdown on a punt return. I definitely enjoyed it. Uh, it was a rough time for me, though, because I was a little nervous going back there, and it's a hard thing to live up to the, uh, the things that David did. But I knew that a lot of people counted on me, so uh, I just kind of took that uh, in control and just did what I can do. The Wildcats roll in week two, defeating Louisiana Tech 54 to 10. Following a bye week, the Wildcats returned to action September 16th and simply overwhelmed Ball State 76 to nothing. The 76 points were a school record as the Wildcats scored on 10 of their 13 possessions and bolted to a 34 nothing first quarter lead. Easily with a long count. Turns, runs the option, keeps it himself, gets around the corner to the five. Jonathan bangs into a defender, falls into the end zone, touchdown Wildcats. Good, strong, powerful run by Jonathan Beasley. They snap it back to Hodges. Has time, gets it away. Good high kick, angling to the near side. Lockett coming over, makes a catch at the 17 and trying to get upfield. Has a little bit of room to the 25, to the 30. Lockett to the 40, and he's off and running to the midfield. To the 40, to the 30, to the 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Kansas State as Aaron Lockett brings it back. 82 yards after a 52-yard punt. 20 to nothing Wildcats. Back to throw Beasley, looks downfield, sets, lobs a pass, looking for Morgan, makes a catch, 30 to the 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, second time in this game, Quincy Morgan has burned the secondary of the Ball State Cardinals. First and goal for Kansas State, double tight end set for the Wildcats, turn to hand it off to Scobie off the left side, and Josh finds Pater, touchdown for Kansas State, and for the second straight game, Josh Scobie is dead of the end zone. Defense was just as impressive limiting Ball State to 53 yards. Mario Farafehi tied the school record with three sacks in the game, all coming in the first half. The Wildcats dominate Ball State in week three, 76 to nothing. 